In this idyllic corner of Oxfordshire countryside, a 19th century silk mill has been given a 21st century makeover, using 2,000 year old technology to solve a modern day problem. This is the Letcombe Brook. It's a, an attributary to the River Thames. It's a relatively small river, but we're taking the water, we're passing it through the sluice gate here and down into the turbine. This is an Archimedean hydro screw turbine. This screw at Dandridge's mill was the first to power homes in the UK. It generates enough electricity to sustain four converted apartments, with some left over to sell back to the national grid. Halliday's Hydropower is the company behind the venture. Tula Bradshaw has worked on the project from the outset and explains how the idea came into being. Um, we actually got a few people down to the mill to review um, and assess the situation that we had there. And we were told on numerous occasions that we didn't have enough flow and the head wasn't big enough. So Henry, who is the engineer for the project, um, was refused to accept that idea and he started looking in Europe. And our research took us to Germany where we found the reverse Archimedean hydroscrew, which was an ancient old technique that we're now using in reverse to capture water from low head hydropower systems. So the idea of installing an Archimedean hydroscrew was born. This is one of the most efficient forms of hydropower. The turbine itself, water to actual mechanical turning of the turbine, has about a 97% efficiency. It's that efficient. From something we call water to wire, which is what you have at the end, we still have an efficiency of somewhere in the region of 80%. To give you an idea, the, this particular turbine has a 70% yearly efficiency. So in, in, a, in a whole year, it will, it will have a, um, an annual efficiency of 70%. Solar panels, which we're very excited about in this country, not entirely sure why, because we haven't got much sun, have about a 12% yearly efficiency. And wind power has about 20% yearly efficiency. So that really gives you an idea of how, how efficient hydropower is, a continuous source of energy flowing all the time. But this new technology does not come cheap. Installing an Archimedean screw at your home could set you back £100,000. For a sort of domestic system, we call it, so your typical person that owns a mill, for example, um, you're looking at somewhere between 7 to 10, maybe even 12 year payback. Now, it seems a long time, but for a lot of our clients, they're trying to make their properties more sustainable for their children. Obviously, the cost of oil and gas is increasing every day, so as long as people are prepared to look at it as a long-term investment, um, it makes sense. Halliday's received government funding to help set up their first Archimedean screw, but in March this year, the Department of Energy and Climate Change deemed hydropower a mature technology and pulled any further funding. Well, the whole idea of, uh, of, of, uh, of government's policy is to... Uh, pump prime various industries to take advantage of the natural resources we've got here, whether it's offshore wind, whether it's solar, whether it's um, Archimedes or hydro uh, th uh, using the Archimedes screw, is to pump prime it and get the sector going. And, and um, hydropower has been around for a very long time and uh, therefore it doesn't fit into that category of being a new technology. Many in government do still believe that there is a viable place for hydropower. There is increasing pressure on the UK to meet EU energy targets and by 2020 at least 15% of our power must come from renewable sources. Well, low head hydro definitely works if you've got a river and if there's water flowing through it and if there's a height drop, you can get energy from it. Uh, we, we shouldn't kid ourselves about the, the scale of it, it is, um, in, in terms of what we could actually get from uh, deploying it across the whole country and all available rivers, it, you know, it's never going to be more than 1% of our electricity. But if we can do it, and if, if it's economic, it's, it's well worth doing. And I'm, I'm really keen on, on low head hydro because it's so uh, unintrusive in, into the, the local environment. Unlike some renewable technologies, the screw at Dandridge's causes no damage to its surrounding ecosystem. And because the mill is a listed building, strict planning guidelines had to be followed to protect the historic fabric of the site. The Society for the Protection of Ancient Buildings says it is important for green renovations to honour a building's past. We have a lot of inquiries about, um, I'm thinking of buying a mill, I would like to make, to make electricity, it no longer makes flour or is used for textile purposes like Dandridge's Mill. 
sort of how can we best use that mill? People are very keen to make the most of the potential of their property. There's been a great um, keenness, as you said earlier, to sort of address the issue of rising fuel costs, doing something good for the environment. I think it's something which people feel they're contributing to and making the world a better place by doing so. Dandridge's mill was the first of its kind in this country, using Archimedean screw technology to power a large residential space. But the company are now looking beyond the domestic energy market. In the next six months, there will be four new Halliday's hydro screws across the country, and there are plans to take the machinery to developing areas of Africa. The technology may be an old one, but this new take on sustainable energy has great scope for the future.